with you. And you're with your spirit. Well, remember, in a special way today, uh, Sacred Heart uh, Elementary School and Sacred Heart High School in Hattiesburg. Uh, we pray in a special way for all of our students, all of our faculty and staff, and, and of course for Dr. Elizabeth Genkai and Mrs. Uh, Ms. Uh, Vicki Flanagan, our principals there. Uh, so we remember them and our families in prayer during this Mass. So call together in the love of Jesus Christ. Let's just take a moment to be reminded of our own sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. We invoke your mercy in humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us, your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have, so they have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molted calf and worshiping it, sacrificing to it and crying out, This is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord says to Moses, I see how stiff-necked these people I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone then, that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord, his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people? whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, with such great power and with so strong a hand. Why should the Egyptians say, with evil intent he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains, and he exterminate them from the face of the earth? Let your blazing wrath die down. Relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and all this land that I promised, I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. The response is, remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, Lord, as you favor your people. Our fathers made a calf in Harab and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eaten bullock. Remember us, O Lord as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things 
at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Praise, Praise to, you, to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony, testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that the, that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish, those works that I perform, testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has tes testified on my behalf, but you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you, because you do not believe in the one he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them, even they, even, even they testify on my behalf, but you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept you in praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of the Father, but you do not accept me. Yet, if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. But if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe in his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So in the Gospel of John today, we hear uh, Jesus really uh, calling the Jews to a deeper, deeper faith and to a relationship especially with Him uh, and therefore with God. Uh, and uh, the struggle that they were having was that the the uh, Old Testament, which was the books of Moses, we call it the Pentateuch, the five books, um, were speaking about the Messiah. And they were looking for a certain kind of Messiah. They were looking for a certain kind of Savior. Uh, and Jesus didn't fit that bill. He didn't look like Messiah they were looking for uh, and he was basically saying to them wake up wake up I'm in front of you right now I'm the Messiah I am your gift from God uh, wake up look at the signs I have done the miracles I perform the words I've spoken they echo what was in the Old Testament uh, and in a very similar way uh, Jesus uh, is really doing the same thing for us right now. Uh, in the midst of the coronavirus, in the midst of uh, uh, not having 
uh, school class in the classroom, but at home now. Uh, all of those really are moments in which we are called to faith and to believe in Jesus and to let his love touch our lives. And as his love touches our lives, we get to love one another. And so all of our school kids, I just encourage you to, as we've talked before, love your parents and your grandparents and your guardians today. Tell them, I love you. And you will find a great smile and great joy on their faces. And for all of us, the adults, uh, the, the same is true. We really do want to grow in the, the love of Jesus Christ. We take the word to heart. We let the word truly touch our lives. For the word is Jesus and his love. And we share that love with everyone we meet. And so those that you may talk to on the phone or if you happen to... Uh, distance yourselves correctly, say to them, God loves you today. Let's take that hope, that faith, that trust, that love into this Eucharist uh, that we may join together in spiritual communion. Lifting up to God our prayers and petitions, knowing God hears and answers each of them, we pray. For the church and her ministers, that like Moses, they may be pleasing to God and capable by their prayer of turning to the turning the divine anger into mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be as John the Baptist, with the lamps of our faith and our love burning and shining as a testimony to the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have asked us for our prayers in a time of illness or distress, that through the holy sacrifice God may again do great deeds and wondrous works of healing and grace for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our intentions and the intentions of those who support our Catholic sharing appeal, that the Lord who knows our hearts and our needs will give us the grace, healing, and the peace that we seek, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed who believed in our own, whom God has sent to save us, that they may now hear the voice and see the form of the Father in the heavenly places, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now in silence, let's offer our special prayers. For all these prayers, the prayers of the whole church, for those for healing, for those that are suffering from the coronavirus, uh, for all those affected by the virus, let's also remember all of our uh, school children uh, and their families throughout the diocese and we especially pray for uh, Sacred Heart uh, High School and Sacred Heart Elementary in Hattiesburg we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer I mean God hear our prayers help us to grow in in faith in your son Jesus who lives and reigns forever and ever Amen, Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth, work of human hands, have become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. And by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquities, cleanse me from my sins.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we offer in sacrifice may cleanse us in our frailty from every evil, and always grant us your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feasts with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, when we, we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, the order of bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And through him and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be freed, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. The Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. May this be going to the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I will place my law within them, I will write it upon their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people, says the Lord. Let us pray. May this sacrament we have received purify us, we pray, O Lord, and grant your servants freedom from all blame. May glory, and may they glory in the fullness of heavenly remedy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Bow down for the blessing. O God, protector of all who hope in you, bless your people. Keep them safe. Defend them. Prepare them. That free from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks to God. God.